What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lungile. I am the founder of an agency called Ironheart Films, and this is my friend. I'm Kulin Gosi, co founder of We Digitize Agency, and I'm the editor of New Soul Hub Radio, a music media platform that covers African creatives. Cool. Yeah. And welcome to our series, another video series yeah. of New Frontier, where we share our startup journeys, tips, tricks, and resources, and struggles. Yeah, um, exactly. Struggle. Yeah, today is about the struggle. <laughs> the struggle, because it gets real. Yeah, I, I see some people see it on social media where you are attending these events, and sometimes they call you to speak at certain things. And reality is, man, like you are doing all these great things, but deep down inside, it's like there's a death that's happening. You know, you are broke. It's not easy. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not it's easy. It's not easy at yeah. all. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? It's like it's really like some of the the struggles that we 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 often don't share, and sometimes we can't share. But I think um, Lungsta and I, is that we we really trying to break that whole thing and just be honest about this thing because it's going to help so many other people. We are not the entrepreneurs that are just going to be out here and preaching a gospel that says, "Yo, quit your job," knowing very well mm-hmm. that it's tough. It's tough out here. It's tough like mm-hmm. it's really tough i've been going around the internet and asking people m- most of the time i ask them like what are some of their challenges their struggles mm-hmm. especially when they started so i can get more context and know that damn like and also so i could be more at ease that like all the struggles that i'm facing mm-hmm. be it financial be it just technical struggles emotional emotional struggles you know what i mean relationship struggles mm-hmm. because you may find yourself you have a, you have a partner or a friend that like doesn't understand why you are always working you know? mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. it's really things like that you know and i think the one thing that like recently we spoke about is mm-hmm. um how obviously we are business owners entrepreneurs and we still use taxis public transportation right Mm -hmm. to get to meetings Mm -hmm. now there's a certain stigma or shame that people have when it comes to that right Mm -hmm. um and they often like i I know like i would have like situations where i went to go see a client and maybe it's like at one of these fancy places four ways or rosebank or santin right Mm -hmm. and then maybe you died you you killed your presentation Mm -hmm. you killed it now a client is walking you out of the the office park, right? And then they ask you one question. Where did so, you park? So yeah, where did you park? You know, they're like, ah, oh, nah, you know, um, my car broke, and so I've been using Uber, right? Right. So again, you also don't have the Uber money because that place is far from where you stay, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So now, like, you find yourself in a tricky situation, and because you weren't honest, now, like, it just is just an awkward situation right mm-hmm. and i think now we should start like owning these stories because you find yourself going to to pitch to a client right mm-hmm. that your meeting is at 10 a.m you live maybe so far you need like a good two hours on the road to get to that place right mm-hmm. using public transportation you must understand that when you're using taxis or, or buses there are insane lines mm-hmm. you have to wait you you don't only just get to to to, to the taxi rank and just get into a taxi and go mm-hmm. you have to wait there's a line once the line is there there's traffic Jobic traffic is mm-hmm. and taxis are unpredictable you know yeah my hack for that though also you know, solving the traffic thing is like i'd rather be early than early late. exactly you know i uh, rather get to the place because you don't know sometimes you don't know where it is so I'd rather get there an hour early like literally leave early leave in the leave morning early yeah um even if you get there then you can go chill at that coffee shop that is like five minutes from the place exactly. where you're supposed to go yeah. now you know where it is and you've had the time to yeah. get lost yeah. so yeah. that's something that i've that's, tried to do to combat like mm-hmm. uh, getting lost that's and actually I'll, very true because mm-hmm. like we also don't you have to account for the fact that you also are going to need time for you to figure the play where the place is out right mm-hmm. so well, i like the point you mentioned like that you need the time to get lost right? yeah so you like, can set it's aside like, like a good 30 minutes where you are finding the location mm-hmm, mm-hmm. right because you are walking you're going to get off a taxi the taxi drives on the main road and don't trust right? google maps don't whatever trust google happens maps, yeah. do not trust google maps i try to get, go to this place yeah. and uh as I look on the Google map, it's just like a small distance. Like, oh, it's here. Yeah. You know, <laughs> oh, bro, I got off the taxi and yeah. I had to walk 45 minutes to get to. I got there late. 
This was <laughs> uh, at least it was for an event, not a meeting. Yeah. And like Santin is like, man, it's yeah, a, it's, 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 a maze. it's a maze, bro. Yeah, it's a maze. Like, and it's, and and it's, I just like never trust. Uh, Google, Google Maps. Maps. Like, don't trust it. Like, trust it, but don't trust, trust it. It's easy to trust Google Maps when you are mobile. Yeah, because you know, you're walking. It's not. It's not. Especially the same. also taxis. Yeah. Also, yeah, an old mentor of mine used to say, yeah. before you go to an interview, go there the day before, yes. and then go back the next day. Yes. Which is also a good thing. But as you know, like some of us get lazy sometimes yeah. you want to go there on the day like and also you know? sometimes and just, finance yeah you, you, you can't go there twice you're like you know? damn like that i need that money maybe I, I'm, I i may need to go see another client and now i'm going there twice you know so you just have to be again i like the hack that you mentioned like just wake up earlier mm-hmm. if you have a meeting at 10 knowing that you don't know the place there's no shame in you leaving at half past six to seven right yeah plus you there's know? less traffic on the road exactly. you know and also um and also, I think it's very important to be like uh, truthful to your clients. You exactly. don't have a client say, "I don't have a car." Yeah. Because um, yeah. I think you know, once you lie about one thing, they're gonna yeah. wonder, "Are you lying about other stuff?" Exactly. Already, no, like it's breaking the trust yeah. thing. And you know, I believe in being one with your thoughts. Like yeah. if you if you're being honest, you don't have to lie. You don't have to stress. You know, like you yeah. know. Um, yeah, it also builds like a good relationship, yeah. good yeah. rapport. Yeah. And um, another thing that you have as a, as a business owner, startup, uh, you realize you, you can't maintain the same lifestyle you used to have, you know. Some Dude. of my friends realize Ooh. like I don't hang out at Ooh. like, uh, you know, do the same things anymore. Yes. I had a friend who was like, oh, we should go to the movies. And I was like, yo, I can't I, do that I, anymore. I want to, but... You know, yeah. like I, I can't live the same, maintain the same yeah. lifestyle that yeah. I used to have, yeah. and I had to cut down, make some sacrifices. Yeah. Um, also, comfortable sacrifices. Yeah, you know, like, because you were so accustomed to living in a certain way, mm-hmm. you know, and there were certain luxury, and at the time, certain comforts mm-hmm. um, were just normal. Like you didn't really have attached any. Because you know, uh, on the twenty fifth, salary is coming, coming in, you know? like so you relax, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. now those things are actual. Real life luxuries. You mm. like, you know. I just need to be very strategic with my because even time is a resource. You know? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Because when you have a, a a job, like you can just say, you know, after work, I just want to relax. Mm-hmm. Um, let me just get some takeout. You know, even things like yo, like a a Netflix subscription. Like at some point, you're gonna have to like cancel it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's one thing I had. I, can, I had Showmax, I had Netflix, yeah, yeah. I had all these things. I was like, cancel, cancel, yeah, cancel. Yeah, I can't, I can't yeah. Yeah. you know, I need every cent. Yeah. Um, I think one of the biggest, like, things that I learned from the whole business journey, like, one of the biggest struggles, I, I obviously I've been, like, shy to say it, but, like, I struggle with loneliness. Like, yeah, I was, like, yeah. lonely. Cause, Cause you're alone most of the time, especially when you're working. You're, alone. you're stressing alone. Yeah. You're doing everything alone. Yeah. You know, especially if you don't have a business partner. And some people don't understand like your vision, yeah. and you don't have anyone to I talk feel to. I'm misunderstood because it's like, even when you do explain the things to yeah. people, they don't get them because they're not within it. Right? They're so like, like, oh, I just get a job. Yeah. Right? Like, and it's the, and getting yeah. a job is not bad. But for, for for the lives that we want to live, mm-hmm. it's not sustainable, right? Mm-hmm. Because why did we even start these these companies when mm-hmm. we were just going to drop them at some point and get a job not to demonize having a job because it's great the one thing i can tell you about having a job is 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 pretty much it teaches you format industry format and mm-hmm. it also teaches you discipline right mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. now imagine if we didn't go through the the the, the nine to five system right mm-hmm. waking up early every day was probably going to be very tough Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. So it's things like that, really. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. 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 It's, it's, it's crazy. Mm. So, yeah. So, so yeah. As I said, like one of the things is loneliness, mm. but you learn how to deal with it. You know, yeah. I, I, you know, you, you learn to, I, reading, uh, joining groups. There's Facebook yeah. groups for businesses. Yeah. There's a site called Reddit where you can join groups yeah. where they are. It's Reddit is a site where everyone's anonymous and they, yeah 
share their stories in terms of building a business what it takes then i think when i started reading all these stories about people that are starting businesses how hard they've worked yeah which is some people haven't taken a vacation in like Since, three years yeah. you know then you're like okay this is what it entails and also i think the biggest really? thing is like how to deal with loneliness like yeah, I google dude. how do i like get rid of this hole and feeling then alone because the mm. thing is like it feels like you are fighting alone you know mm-hmm, what i mean mm-hmm. and even when you do sort of like have a cry for help like for people to even help you and provide a solution they need to kind of understand where you're coming from which mm-hmm. i think is what happens to a lot of us because entrepreneurship and business is lonely mm-hmm. it's lonely you will you you may be busy and, and 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 doing work for clients or whatever but you're alone you're fighting battles that you can't even see mm-hmm. and you are also fighting battles that you know that you're gonna face in six months and you're, you're right? putting out fires most of the yeah, time yeah. but one thing i've learned well to teach myself is that problems never go away like yeah. i don't care how many things you solve yeah. there will always be problems Problem, yeah. and you just need to like work be patient to like troubleshoot like as basic as googling something that you have a problem with google like how can i fix it? look at option one option two try that and then finally i i, I was never like a patient person who likes mm-hmm. to like solve things i'm like oh it's broken let me go buy a new yeah, one, buy a new one. now i'm just like okay fix. cool like okay I, how do i troubleshoot this and fix this watch a youtube video what you know like i or ask someone who knows you know and also maybe another thing to just going back to the loneliness thing i've learned that you can combat loneliness by going to meetups where there's yeah. business people mm-hmm. uh entrepreneurs and other meetups where you can just go there and network yeah. with them just talk to them and it, just getting out of the house helps you know um it it, really it, to like just go so connect with other, yeah, yeah go connect with other people and actually you know you'll see that they have the same struggles and maybe yeah. this is how they solve things yeah. um, need to learn how to deal with certain problems because i can trust you most of the problems we have as an entrepreneur and the worries we have all of us like are very there's a, there's a lot of similarities and commonalities there and some people have solved some of the problems that we we we, we are currently facing mm-hmm. so it's always good to go out there and connect and just also get that insight and then you can solve it in your own way you know what i mean mm, yeah. mm, mm. and yeah like and like the other struggle we spoke about yeah is money you know like money is, obviously yeah. you need to like cut down on everything money that is, is excessive in your life your lifestyle takes a dip a, like a huge mm, one no no more splurging yeah. no more uh, takeouts uh, no more unnecessary expenses but then you know you you, you learn to appreciate uh, all the little things and you know just like solving problems yeah. keeping cutting your budget and yeah you just have to learn to overcome these things True. you know it's not easy but then also just talking about it and yeah. that's why we're also having yeah. making these this video series because yeah. It's we realized <laughs> we, we were having these conversations yeah. so many times like yeah. oh dude i'm so stressed all the yeah, time i wake yeah. up in the morning or wake up at night i can't sleep i just yeah. want to work i'm like dude i've been there yeah. i used to wake up yeah. early in the morning stressing like i need to start working now yeah. having a to-do list so long where you're just like you get overwhelmed just yeah. by looking at it you before you even <laughs> began you're just like yeah. oh, dude, i'll never have have finish this used thing to, used to have to me so much and i'll just panic because of like i set this to do list myself mm-hmm. but as you could like you don't even know how to space it out you know yeah and ha- after having to connecting with you and you when you were told, telling me about productivity and how you i was like yo let me optimize my approach so you see connecting and speaking and talking because mm-hmm. we often die many deaths internally alone yeah no and yeah you know, it's it's bad <laughs> yeah and yeah. and you know we're also sharing these things just in case you're going through them yeah. and maybe you have some questions yeah. tell us how you deal with stress you know yeah. i know what like yes one of the things that is stress that you deal with you know i try to i trust the universe now you know yeah. like i'm just like even when losing a job you know i try not to stress about it you know what okay what can i learn from this maybe the job wasn't mine yeah, it wasn't and, and just mm-hmm. moving forward um and also just try to exercise yeah you know have a, a hobby that is gets you out of the house yeah because you know when you're working in the house you are just typing typing you wake up and you type 
you know you have to get something that is active that releases all that tension all yeah, that stress yeah, or yeah. go have a, 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 to a meetup one thing I also learned is like every time I need to talk to someone I just pick up the phone and call that person yeah. the one person I know I can talk to I call them right then and there like yeah. I need to talk right now so yeah. I can vent and then just having that person you can talk mm. to so it's very important to just not keep things inside yeah. if you have a problem call that person and Speak. talk to them immediately yeah. and sometimes even just have like a journal sometimes yeah. even just journal. journaling your own thoughts so you can look at them it's like a form of release it's, it's therapy man you know? like, as, as, as Lungster said like um we creating this series as a form of therapy because we deal with so much and we know that you guys as well are dealing with so much so speaking this is really helping us as much as it may help you um, when you're consuming this yeah this is also good for us because we're, we're, we're talking you know, about it and we're gonna watch him like oh actually yeah. i feel better after exactly. talking about you know this. so mm. to speak when you are troubled um there are people that are willing to reach out and help in whatever capacity they can you know? mm. and another thing uh when it comes to finances while well, working with clients i know one of my biggest like pains that i regret i keep kicking myself over i got a job and i pitched for it and i went through a whole bunch of yeah. steps i pitched it three times with this big brand with this big company i thought my life was gonna change yeah. and i didn't get it and Ish. You know, because I was too eager and mo- mainly because I didn't speak to the client about budget. It seems so simple, mm. but because I thought no they budget. really liked our stuff yeah. and our pitch, like we were already going to win the pitch. But I've realized and learned like, yo, the first thing to do when you meet with a potential client, talk about the budget. Like, what is your budget for this thing? Qualify the client and say, can you afford, know that you can, they can afford you. Because the True. biggest lesson is we pitch, True. we spend 8,000 Rand bidding against these other companies, Easy. you know, and we thought we were going to win. And yes, we did beat the other agencies in the steps that we were going mm-hmm. through, the different pitch process. We would thought that thing was ours, but we, by the time we quoted the, the the job, you know, the client was like gasping and, you know, and I wish we had like known how much the budget is what? so that we can yeah. manage our expectations and just know that just because someone says they're going to give you business, it you know, mean that it, for until they've the signed money, or yeah. parted with their money. It does it, they, you haven't really closed the deal. You haven't won the, the deal. It's yeah. just in the air. Right. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. don't also just get too attached to some of the promises that people make you, especially in business. If before you even sign, if as you're saying, if there's no paperwork yet, because um, getting attached will hurt you. Like mm. it will really hurt you. Mm. And, and, and then also getting bullied into yeah. taking a job where someone dictates the rate of the job because yeah. you're desperate. I mean, that's already like a bad relationship being set up. I did a job three months ago where this person just bullied me into taking this rate, like, yeah. you know, with the promise of giving new work. And I just took it because I was like, you know what, maybe I'll get new work. And guess what? I didn't get new work. New work and now yeah. I ended up regretting it that I did this job for a lesser rate than what I usually charge. Usually charge and there was no and, work. You know, and I, I was filled with resentment, you yeah. know, so, but I mean, these are the, lessons and yeah. struggles that you yeah, learn exactly yeah. you know and you learn from them and if you didn't do them you wouldn't learn from them you yeah. know um, but yeah we hope you are you are getting slow cooked mm-hmm. right it's being slow cooked you know mm-hmm. what i mean and yeah gonna, mm. so yeah different pressure points and all of that stuff and different heat heat levels in life that you just have to go through yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah uh, if you like this video guys please drop a comment below let us know what your biggest right, yeah. struggles and pains that you go through yeah. in your business and in the startup we'd love to hear from you how you tackle different topics in terms of your struggles from money to emotion emotional problems struggles and loneliness yeah. we'd love to hear from you guys and you know connect with you guys and uh yeah until next time We'll see you next time. Peace, peace. Peace, guys.